association. There's a lot of people across the state that have been some hard work across the board in all the areas to make this national success for all you visiting guys. So we thought we'd uh, introduce one of them today, it's none other than Michael Forster. So welcome Michael. Mate, how does it feel to be a 10 to 1 state champion with the last nine in a row? Nine in a row, well, you know, that's just icing on the cake. Um, again, if I can do the next one, it'll be it'll be even better, but we'll see how we go. What has been the key to your success, you reckon? The crew is absolutely key to success. Um, the boat as well, looking after the boat, um, keeping it uh, in tip-top condition is always important as well. Don't want to break anything during an important race. So. This year, the state title has been right down to the last heat. Two points separating three boats. Uh, would you say that that's probably been the closest call out of a lot of them, and how sweet was that one? Yeah, look, that, that was a bit of a challenge, Mark. Um, it was very close, but really any of the three of us could have won it. Well, I wasn't actually winning during the series. I don't think I won one regatta, but um, consistency was the key. And um, we just happened to um, to do the right thing, uh, managed to win the start and uh, hold it together for the race and just uh, keep the others in check and managed to, uh, to get around the course without any hassle. So um, it, it was very sweet, uh, sweet finish to, to do it, finally wrap it up in the last race and um, yeah, no, really, really happy with how we went. Uh, moving on to this year and at our home nationals, uh, what do you expect out of the whole series? Look, it's it's going to be a great place to sail. Again, no one's home water, so I think that'll make it a really fair series. Um, I expect we'll get some, uh, you know, mixture of conditions, some sea breezes, and uh, we'll probably get a southerly buster if, if we're there for the seven days. So more than likely, so you know, that'll mix things up. Um, the juniors coming through the class are making uh, a really a, a big difference. Um, they're certainly pushing uh, more experienced sailors, and I think you know they're certainly the future of our class. You had a great battle with Mount Higgins last time the Nationals were in New South Wales. Uh, word around the place is there's some great teams heading our way, basically. Uh, which state do you reckon is going to provide the greatest challenge? Oh, look, South Australia is always there. Um, Western Australia are going to, you know, have always been there too. And again, I think the mix of conditions will will be interesting. Um, New South Wales, I think, will definitely mix it up. There's, there's some uh, good sailors already already in New South Wales. And again, you know, we, we gave um, Mal a bit of a run for his money last time um, in, in sort of moderate conditions. So I think uh, it'll be interesting to see how Bodney Bay, what Bodney Bay serves up to all of us. So um, I think could be could be any of a number of states. Moving back to the crew situation, probably the worst kept secret in New South Wales is that your forward hand of five seasons is going to fly and fly out. Ben's agreed uh, to come and sail with Andrew and I again, and um, uh, I'm not sure how many of you know, but Ben actually sailed with me in, uh, in the last New South Wales Nationals on uh, Lake Illawarra, and um, where we managed to get second, so, uh, and that was his first event in the Sharpie, so um, I think, uh, you know, the, the the crew and the boat and the, the venue, I think, have all made it um, enticing for, for Ben to come and agree to sail with us again. So uh, I think it should be uh, a great fun series, and um, I'm glad he's, glad he's on board. Yeah. Well, on that note, mate, thanks very much for your time. Uh, can't wait for the racing season to start in Canberra in a few weeks once we dust the ice off. And uh, also in New South Wales, no doubt you'll be right up there again and contending for the title, mate. Good luck.